Suzuki LS650 Savage for sale on eBay. In the paperwork, the bike comes with a. It's got a. Um, looks like a genuine Suzuki uh, service book. It comes with its uh, V5 registration document. It shows two former keepers, but I had to register the bike in my own name because the bike had to be re registered because it came back from Spain, so that's in my name, even though I'm a trader. It has the um, HPI check certificate. I've done that, that's all completely clear. Nothing in its history on that to be concerned about accidents, finance, or anything else like that. It's got a current MOT test certificate, which I did uh, a little while ago, so that's um, run through to December 2012. It comes with its owner's manual, all in English. It is a UK bike, by the way. It's also got its um, service book with this original servicing up to 1997 with some early service invoices there it's taxed I taxed that um, recently so that runs through to the end of November this year it's got all its old MOT test certificates going back to 19 whatever it is yeah, what's the oldest one there it really matters very much but still it's a uh, Anyway, it's got, the, got them all there. It's also got some rather irrelevant sort of bits and pieces from DVLA and that kind of thing as well. Just looking around the bike, a few little things to point out. Um, the bike has been in storage and it's been cleaned and protected with WD-40 spray. And there are places around the bike you can still see it looks a bit slimy. So that's not a um, chrome or a paint defect that just wants kind of wiping off. The Speedo has... Um, missed it up. When I took the photographs it had missed up but normally I don't know if it was very cold outside when I took the pictures or something but that has been okay so on sort of cool days you might find that missed up. Um, the chrome on the top yoke there if you look at that closely it started to pickle a little bit. Uh, considering it's 21 years old the chrome generally is quite good. There's this front pipe on there which obviously looks like an original pipe and it started to sort of corrode a bit as well. Um, The seat height on this bike, that actually, if you stand next to it, that's only about 22, 23 inches high, so it's got a real low seat height, which might suit some people on that. Another thing I would say about the bike, it, it probably goes a little bit better than you might think. When you look at the style of that engine, it looks like an old sort of British sort of bike. You would think it would go like that, but it doesn't. It actually goes a bit better than you might think. And the bike's also been fitted with the, well, it's standard with a belt drive on there, so that means you haven't got to keep adjusting the chain and keeps the noise down and keeps it cleaner as well. So there we go. Good luck with the bidding.